Hello, 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 my lovely people. Hello, how are you today? How are you today? I'm good. I'm blessed. <laughs> I'm blessed. I guess y'all saying, why do Melissa got that mask on? Why? Let me take this mask off. Well, I just want to share with y'all on today my experience with getting my wisdom to pull for the second time. Yes, for the second time. Yes. So, I'm going to share with y'all what my experience with my wisdom to pull. This is the second time. I had got it pulled. I had got this one pulled out in 2015. 2015, I got this one pulled out at the top. And it was real painful. It was very painful. They just went in and they just yanked it. They didn't have no remorse, no compassion. They just yanked it and, hey, sent me on my little way. But this time, when I got this one pulled, you can see the swelling. It's a little swollen. You can see the swelling. This time, I just thank God that uh, it was less painful. It was less painful, you know. I prayed. Yes, I prayed before I went. And I said, Lord, please let me get a good or surgeon. And please let them be patient with me. Let them be gentle with me. I said, please, God, I don't want to go through what I went through last time. And after I prayed, God gave me assurance and he let me know, you're not gonna set, you're not gonna have the same complication that you had last time. And so I went. I went Friday. Uh, my appointment was at two. Was it two? Two thirty. My appointment was at two thirty. I got in there, they got started at two forty. Yeah, two forty they got started. They numbed me real good. They numbed me real good. I couldn't feel anything. When I got this one pulled, they only know me. They only know me twice, so I felt I felt every pain. But this time I didn't feel it. It was like less painful. And before they got started, she kept checking. She was like, "Let me know if you feel any pain or anything." And I was like, "I don't feel nothing." So she was like, "Okay, you good? So we're gonna get started." So they got started, and all I just felt was like the pressure. I just felt a little pressure, and they was you know pulling it out. And as they was pulling it out, you know, they was nice. They was real nice. I thank God for that because they talked me through the whole thing. And it's like, why are you why are you closing your mouth? Open your mouth. It's okay. You're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. They kept saying, look at me. Look at me. So they talked me through the whole process. And, um, you know, you know, it was good. It was less painful. I just thank God for that. And then once they pulled it out, they got it out. I saw them when they pulled it out. And then um, they stitched me up. You know, I got stitches now. I think they dissolved the stitches. They stitched me up. And then afterwards, they was like, you did all that fussing. We did all that fighting for nothing. See? See? For nothing. So I told them, I was like, thank you. I was like, thank you so much. I was just so happy. I was so happy to get it out. You know, usually you be crying, you be in pain. I was just so happy. You know, I was kind of feeling joyful because... I've been trying to get this tooth out for a long, long time because it got to the point it got so bad that they said it started hitting my nerves. It started bothering me. I would have real bad ear pains in my left ear and my head. You know, I was having real bad migraines. And they said because of it, it's because the tooth is hitting my my nerve. So they said I have to hurry up and get it out. So I've been trying for a long time to get that, that tooth out. So I'm just glad that it is... It's out. It's finally out. I'm like, thank you, God. It's out. At first, I thought it was a dream. Like, did they really just pull that tooth out? So I just thank God that it's over with. It's out. I'm like, thank you, Lord. So I'm like, it's your road to recovery. It's time for you to recover. So they gave me this was a uh, this is what I had. I had the gall. There was a gall. I had to keep changing my gall. Last time when I got this one pulled, they just gave me one gall and pushed me out the door. This time I asked them for more gall. They gave me the whole pack. And I ch changed my gall, you know, I fold it up and I stick it in my mouth. You have to keep changing it because if you don't keep changing it, you know, it can get infected. You have to keep it clean. So, uh, this is the, uh, the galls they gave me. I fold it up, put it in my mouth, and I just keep it uh, clean. And then they prescribed me, it was on... Um, I have some, some pain pills. I have some ibu, uh, ibuprofen, 800 milligrams. They told me to take some Tylenol with it, but I don't really have a lot of pain. So, 
But I do, I just take this for ibuprofen they gave me for the pain. And um, then they told me, and I constantly, I rinse it. Like when I get up in the morning, I get my tooth brush because it's still kind of a little sore. So when I brush it, my tooth, when I brush my teeth, I get a cup of water and I put some salt in it. And I brush my teeth like right here. I brush it uh, with the salt and water and I just keep rinsing. I just keep rinsing my mouth, you know. So that was the first day. The second day, I actually, I put a little toothpaste on it. Baking soda. I use baking soda toothpaste. You know, some some mild, some mild toothpaste so it won't irritate it. And I brush my teeth with the baking soda toothpaste. Rinse my mouth and, hey. So, but. And then another thing, uh, I advise anyone to, to ever get their bosom too pulled out. And you say, well, how do I get the swelling to go down? You know, the swelling. So when I got this tooth pulled I was on a job and one of my co-workers, she was so sweet. I thank God for Miss Jackson. I thank God for Miss Jackson. Miss Jackson was so sweet. She went on her lunch break. She went to the health food store at the GM, GNC food store and she got, it was a white tube, white tube of aloe vera. And she told me, she said, take the aloe vera, put it inside your mouth, put it on the, um, the womb every day. And I was doing that and that's how it healed. So this time I didn't have the tube, but um, you can get this. You can I'm sorry. You can get this at the grocery store, the aloe vera. At the you can get it at the grocery store. And what I do, I just take my finger, a dab, and I rub it in the inside. Rub it on here like ladies. <laughs> you put on foundation, lotion, whatever, and I just rub it right here where the swelling is. So like it's going down a little. So every day I just put a dab in my mouth. It's going to taste a little funny, but it's good. But aloe vera is, is really good, you know. So I'll get the aloe vera, and it takes the swelling down. Then, so you say, but what about your appetite? What can you eat? So I asked her, what can I, how, no, I asked her, how long do it take me before I can eat? So she said, after um, two days, she said, after two days, she was like, you might want to start with, like, some, you know, some soup. Eat things that are soft, like some soup. So they gave me a list. They gave me a list of food that um, I can eat. Um, applesauce, ice cream, soup. The second day, I had some soup. I had some soup, yeah, the second day. And then the next day, so lately, so lately, I just been eating like some potatoes. I've been eating potatoes. Yesterday, I tried some chicken. I know I wasn't supposed to eat the chicken, but uh, I was just craving some chicken. I'm like, I am hungry. So I just pulled the skin off and I peeped, broke the meat up and I was just chewing the meat on this side. So, but yeah, so applesauce, ice cream, soup, jello, pudding, mashed potatoes, yogurt. I did get some yogurt. I was eating yogurt yesterday. And smoothie or milkshake and instant oatmeal. I had oatmeal today. So, and then they said after eight days, you should be able to go back to, like, your normal food. Try to eat, you know, your heavier food that you usually eat. So, but, yeah, I've been taking it easy. So, I just want to share that, uh, my life, my experience, you know, on getting my wisdom too poor for the second time. Because I had so many people, they tell me, it was like, it's going to hurt. <laughs> it's going to hurt. It's going to be painful. You know, my niece, she told me, she said, you're going to go through hell. And all those things is like playing in my mind. But, you know, I thank God. You know, I'm a praying woman. I love to pray. Before I do anything, I'm always praying. So, I thank God that I prayed first today. I mean, right when I was getting ready to go to my appointment, I prayed first. And uh, God granted my request, you know. It, you know, I wasn't fearful. Um, I was kind of a little nervous at first but i thank god they was talking me through it so i was you know i was relaxed i was calm i thank god for getting it over you know for letting it be over and um but i just want to say so if anybody out there you know you got to get your wisdom too poor hey get it over with get it out get it out man got so bad that it was it was broken it was broken off so they had to hurry up and get it out was well, rotten, was broken. Uh, it was rotten, it was broken. So sometimes people they might put it off like, no, nah, I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna get it pulled now. Get it done. Get it done. Get it out because you don't want it to get infected. You know all that infection getting you because I had to take antibiotics first. 
before they, you know, I was able to uh, get it pulled out the first time, the, my first appointment, they just gave me some antibiotics and I had to reschedule, I had to go back. So then he was able to pull it out. So I advise you just, just get it over with, get it over with. And then another thing I would say, take care of your teeth, take care of your teeth. I know it's hard because I'm a person, I love sweet, I love to eat sweet. When I get home and my girls, they had a box of chocolate and I just want the chocolate. I'm looking like, I want some chocolate. <laughs> I love sweets. So, but you will pay, you, you know, when you're young and you eat all that stuff, but when you get older, you know, you pay a price for it. So I would say, hey, get it done. Just get it pulled out. Just just get it taken out. You know, some people, I listen to some people, uh, other people, some people tell me, say, I'm just going to take a man to the grave with me. I'm like, no, nah, hey, just get it out. If uh, You know, what really motivated me to really get it pulled out is when when it started hitting my ear, hitting my nerve. Oh, you got to go. You got to go. Because I couldn't, man, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't relax. It was like holding your ear. It's like you got a bad earache. And I would go to the doctor and they said, you don't have no ear infection or anything. We don't see anything. And they said, and when they looked at my mouth and saw my tooth, they said, I think you need to see a dentist to get your tooth pulled out. So, but get it taken care. Get it taken care. I'm just saying, get it taken care of. Hey, get it out the way while you can, you know. And don't listen to, it. you know, different ones. They're going to tell you, hey, I'm telling you, it's going to hurt. It's going to be painful. Hey. I don't think, you know, everybody's experience might not be the same. Like, my experience, I don't, it's not the same as everybody else. And I would say that, um, you know, pray. Pray. Ask God before you go, Lord, please let me get a good oral surgeon, you know. Let me get a good oral surgeon. Somebody just going to handle me with care. Not just going to rush in my mouth and just yank it. You know, that's how they did when they got this one pulled. So, yes. So, I just say, hey, just glad it's over with. And I just had to share with y'all. Yeah, I'm looking a little rough right now. You know, <laughs> my nieces, they was laughing at me because I had the mask on. I had the mask on like this. And they was like, let me see. They was like, let me see. When I pulled the mask on, they was like, oh. <laughs> they was like, oh. And I'm like, whatever. I'm like, yeah, but I ain't going to be in pain no more. So, but the little, you know. I'm a little swelling. It'll go away. It'll go down. You know, it's going to go down. So, I'm just thankful that it's, you know, it's done. It's out the way. So, but, yeah, I just want to share that with you guys. And what else I want to talk about? <laughs> what else? What else I want to talk about? Okay, you know, I just want to make sure I get it out the way. I'm like, I have to go share this. I have to, I have to go share this with my uh, my YouTube friends. I have to go share this and let them know. So I told y'all about how to clean it. You know, you know what to eat, what what you can eat, what you put on it, how to get it to heal fast. So I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. So because you know, at the end you get to watching. People say, well, what about this? She didn't say this. She didn't say, how you get to heal the house? So, yeah, I just want to, you know, make sure I covered everything. But how is everybody doing? How is everybody doing? Everybody is, how is everybody doing today? Hmm. I'm just taking it easy. Just taking it one day at a time. I do. I do pray that the swelling be gone down by Tuesday. By Tuesday, because I have somewhere to go. So, I don't want to walk up in the place and it's well and they be looking like, ooh, who beat her up, you know. So, I just pray that it be gone, that it be gone by Tuesday. Pray that it be gone by Tuesday. But, yeah, so. But, anyway, anyway, let me see what else I want to talk about. Something else I want to share with y'all. Um, oh, I do. I want to thank... I want to thank the ones that have been watching my channel, you know, been uh, been watching my videos, you know, hitting, you know, hitting the subscribe button. I want to thank y'all for hitting the like button. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, support. You know, thank you. I really appreciate it. I told y'all, be patient with me. Hey, this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time, you know, to, um, you know, to just share like different life experience, things that... 
I have went through in life and gone through of life, you know, since I've been saved. And before I got saved, I just want to share it because somebody, I know it's somebody out there that's going through the same thing that, you know, that I probably done went through or I'm going through. So I just want to share, share with you guys. And um, I got some more topics coming up, you know. Uh, I got one I want, we're going to talk about, you know, uh, my next video. I want to, I want to talk, I want to touch on courtship. I want to talk about courtship. Yeah. <laughs> I want to talk about courtship. I just want to get into it. I think that's just that's a, a, a good topic to talk about. Courtship, you know, dating. You know, I don't want to hear you guys' views and opinion on dating. How long should you wait to date, you know, um, after the, after a breakup? And, um, and, once you, and once you are dating, how long should you wait how long should you wait for you like if you have like children already you have children already how long should you wait you know like to introduce that person to your kids you know so yeah i want to talk about courtship but then after we talk about courtship we're gonna go into like you know some engagement you know it might give y'all a little of my life experience on my my engagement my broken engagement yeah i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna go into that i'm gonna let y'all get y'all a Give y'all a little bit of that. Because <laughs> I've been holding it. I, I haven't been wanting to discuss it. But I'm going to discuss it. So yeah. I want to share that with y'all. But until next time. It's your girl Melissa. Love you. Be blessed. <laughs>